By 2012, you're going to spend as much money to power a server as you are going to, to buy it. Okay? That is a huge, huge cost for you. Okay? Whether you pay for electricity or not, it's a huge cost for your agency. Okay? And it's a huge problem for us on the planet. So I thought it would be interesting to take a look at um, actually how much energy really reaches your data center and within your data center how much actually reaches your, your uh, applications. So if you look at the slide, you can see that 70% of the amount of electricity or energy that is produced is lost in transmission. Before you ever see it, it's gone. Okay, and even when you get into the data center on the right-hand sl side of the the uh, slide, you'll see that one percent out of that hundred percent that was produced actually makes it into this chip. And out of that one percent that makes it into the CPU, most of that is given off as heat. So, what's the purpose of this slide other than to scare us all? Um, what it says is any change you can make in your data center to the right-hand side of the slide makes a huge impact globally and nationally on energy production. We can't do anything about the heat that is, that is given off by a CPU. We can't do anything about the 70% distribution loss, but we sure can take care of our own houses in the data center. So, where do we cut costs, okay? So right sizing the power and cooling equipment is very, very high up on the list, okay? Um, Forrester did a study and found out that most data centers, okay, are way over provisioned in cooling. Why? Well, most of them are there for growth, okay? So today's data centers are designed in a much more modular and scalable fashion. We don't put in one great big UPS unit and one great big room cooling unit when we're only using a quarter of the data center thinking we're going to grow. We put in modular units that allow us to cool and humidify and power condition what we need and we'll grow into it later with additional equipment when we need to. Okay. 30%, up to 30% of your electric costs for the data center can be saved just by following this. The number one way to save power in your data center today is to virtualize. Okay? Josh will show you that you can save 89, 90% of the power that goes to your servers just by virtualizing. Okay? What that translates to is you can save up to 40% of the power that you're paying for in your data center just by virtualizing your servers. So an eight server down to one compression is very, very typical. 30 to one is possible. I wrote these slides a week ago and I just found a customer who's doing 40. 40 servers down to one. Okay. For every one of those servers, I'm not putting out heat, I'm not having to cool, it's a double-edged sword, I get twice the benefit. What is virtualization? Virtualization is taking what VMware calls a workload, i.e. an OS and an application together, and taking them from one physical machine and putting a bunch of them onto one physical machine. Each of these now virtual machines think they have 100% ownership of the physical infrastructure behind them, the box. But they don't. Okay? So now I can take my efficiency, and, and, and there's lots of studies out there that say efficiency of servers in the data center today is between 5 and 12%, and we can get it up to 80% very easily. That's how we compress a whole bunch of servers down to one of a few servers, okay? So what does this allow me to do? So this allows me to consolidate a whole bunch of servers down to just a few, okay? 
it gives me, and that's just the beginning of the benefits of virtualization. We're talking about green today, so we're not going to go through them all. But once I have that workload virtualized, it's encapsulated into a big file, I can do lots of things with it. Lots of things. One of the things I can do is to move it from one physical machine to another while it's up and running, and while the users who are using that virtual machine not knowing or caring that I moved it. 